What's up YouTube's PZS Yin here. Uh, I'm gonna be making another iOS quick tip video. It's been a little while since I've done one of these. Uh, in this one I'm actually gonna show you guys uh, how you can use your iPod Touch or iPhone to type out an Apple, Apple logo. This requires no jailbreaking uh, and it will, once you get it set up, it will require no need of going back into your notepad like and then copying an Apple logo out of it and then pasting it into there like that. Uh, it's going to be basically straight from the Apple keyboard that is built into the operating system. You can literally type out an Apple logo. It, it's, it's that simple. So uh, I'm going to be showing you how to do that. All right. So in order for this uh, particular quick tip to work, you are going to need to have your iPhone or iPod Touch or iPad updated to uh, iOS 5.0 or later. Um, otherwise, you won't be able to do it. So make sure that you have that particular iOS. And if you do, then Okay, let's get going. Okay, so the way this is going to work real quickly is we're going to set up the uh, uh, the keyboard in the uh, OS to um, whenever we type out a particular acronym, preferably a non-standard ac acronym that you're not going to be using often. Um, once you type out that particular acronym, it will actually suggest to you an Apple logo uh, to be used instead of that particular acronym. So you're going to see how this will work in a second, but that's basically how it's going to work. So uh, in order to get started, you're going to need to gain, you're going to need to obtain uh, an app logo. Now you could do this uh, one of several ways. Uh, the obvious way you could do it is to go on Google and Google, you know, look up an app logo on the internet and find one and then copy and paste it. So you could do that, um, but as you might be able to see. Uh, from right here, I do not have internet access at the moment in my room. So that's not going to work. So I have to do something else. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a Bluetooth keyboard. This is the keyboard that I got with my iMac um, when I bought it over the summer. Uh, it did come without a key. This was a used iMac, so that key has been missing ever since I've owned the keyboard. Uh, so yeah. So if you're going to use an uh, if you're going to be using a uh, Bluetooth keyboard, it does not need to be an Apple keyboard specifically. That's just what I have handy. Um, you're going to need to go into Settings in general, and then you're going to go to Bluetooth, and then you're going to enable Bluetooth. After that, you need to go ahead and make your wireless keyboard discoverable. And as you can see, uh, it has found my keyboard, so I'm just going to go ahead and tap on it. And it's got, it wants me to input a pin. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off screen real quick. Oh, uh, sometimes it does that. I don't know why. Let's go ahead and try that again. Hmm. Interesting. There we go. So once we enter a pin, and then hit enter, and there we go. My uh, keyboard has been paired, as you can see by the light. It's no longer blinking. So now I can, uh, you know, test that it's paired. I can. I'm currently using it to control brightness and the uh, the volume. So now we can go ahead and get this started. Okay, so what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to go into uh, settings. You know, you know, after your either you have your Apple logo on your in your clipboard or your wireless keyboard is paired, you're going to go into settings. All right, and then you're going to go to general. You scroll down to uh, keyboard. Okay, and then you're going to go to the bottom, and you're going to see that you've got this new feature. Uh, you've got some called shortcuts, so you're going to want to add a new shortcut. Under the phrase um, field, you're going to want to put your Apple logo, all right? So, how this works, uh, if, you're, if you've copied one off the internet, you're just going to paste it in there. But if you're using a wireless keyboard, uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to hold down Shift, then hold down Alt, and then push K. And you might be able to see that it actually typed something. As you can see, it put an Apple logo in there. So now you're going to want to set up your phrase that you're going to use to uh, actually, you know, type it. And I'm just going to use uh, this right here, A-P-L-O-G-O. -O. You might want to make it, 
make it as short as you can, but you know, make sure it's something that you won't really ever need to type. And uh, that should work. So let's go ahead and make sure we did this correctly by testing it out. So we're going to go and hit save. All right, and as you can see, our new shortcut has been set. So we're going to go back home. I'm actually going to uh, disconnect my keyboard now by holding down its power button. So let's go and disconnect it. And you should see my little Bluetooth in the background go to gray. All right, so let's go ahead and make a new note real quick. And let's hit here and find our focus. And we're going to just type in A-P-L-O-G-O. -O. And as you can see, it went ahead and suggested the Apple logo. In order to type it, just hit space. And there you go. That is how you type an Apple logo, uh, or how you, um, yeah, that is pretty much how you can type an Apple logo without having to go to the internet every single time you want to use one and then copy it, or, you know, go to your note and copy one every single time. Now you can literally just type one. You know, it's a lot more easier. So, that is how it's done. If you found this video useful, uh, please let me know. Um, I tried to make it as easy to follow as I could. So anyway, that is all. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about how to do this, you can let, you can ask them in the comments below. Uh, somebody might be able to help you, be it me or somebody else, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. Adios.